Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today I'm going to talk about tweed, but I'm going to do so in response from an email I've received from a viewer who's asked for some advice. And that is a gentleman called James, who tells me that he is a serving member of His Majesty's Royal Air Force and he writes to tell me that through some tragic circumstances recently, he has inherited a splendid tweed jacket and waistcoat from his late brother. Uh, he tells me that he would love to be able to wear these cherished items with quite a bit of personal confidence. However, as he really saw his brother wearing those garments, he's a little uncertain of how to wear them and he feels a little lost of the circumstances in which he can pull off the tweed look. Well, firstly, James, obviously my deepest condolences on the loss of your brother, but a way of carrying on that memory is of course by wearing the garment which you find yourself now owning. Uh, it's a wonderful way of maintaining a relationship with somebody who's no longer with us. In fact, I recently saw a photograph of His Majesty King Charles III wearing an overcoat which was previously owned by his father, the Duke of Edinburgh. So this is a time-honoured tradition where people will pass down clothing and it allows an element of that person no longer with us to live on in the next generations. So I think it's a wonderful thing that you intend to do. Uh, and yes, you know, that's tragic, but of course those clothing will begin a new lease of life with you. Uh, I noticed from the images that, firstly, it looks like a great jacket and waistcoat. Let's say that. It's a nice colour, good versatile tweed garments, and I'm sure you're going to get a lot of use out of them. The second thing I noticed from the label is that the garments were, in fact, Harris tweed. Now, Harris tweed is tweed which is handwoven in the outer Hebrides of Scotland. So it's quite a niche part of the world these come from. There are something like 15 inhabited islands which make up the Outer Hebrides and only about 30,000 people in total who are Outer Hebridean in their origin. So as I say quite a niche sort of world your tweed comes from uh, and in fact many or much of the um, Harris tweed cloth itself is woven in the homes of the spinners from the Outer Hebrides for whom it is something of a cottage industry, something they're able to do at home and the tweed uh, is made from the fleeces of local Outer Hebridean sheep. So it is rugged, it is tough and it is imbued with many qualities that we only see in Harris tweed. Uh, it is increasingly becoming seen as very stylish. I don't think it ever has fallen out of style, actually, tweed. And Harris tweed in particular is considered to be, you know, the royalty of all tweed. So the garment that you've got has a great starting point because the raw materials are some of the finest, some of the best, so you know you're going to get off to a good start. Now, the first tip I've got for you about turning that garment into your garment is to make sure you have the right fit, all right? Because fit is everything when it comes to clothing. Now, you may be very fortunate as you've inherited the garment from a family member who may share the same proportions as you. Genetics often does share. However, it's unlikely, let's be honest, no two of us are roughly the same size. So what I would suggest is to have the garment tailored to fit you perfectly. Now, a lot of people balk at having tailoring done because it does involve the removal of the wallet from the back pocket and the exchanging of funds, right? People don't like spending money on tailoring for some reason. However, it is by far the best investment you can make in your clothing. Go to a tailor and get them to get it measured properly and then altered to fit you perfectly. If you do so, you will feel so much more at home in that garment knowing that it is made for your proportions and you alone. It will give you a relationship with that garment from the beginning, which will be a fantastic start. And remember, the clothing that you wear is the ambassador to the world for the man who is within it. So if your clothing is baggy and kempt, hanging off you or super tight and it doesn't look comfortable, that's what people are going to perceive about you, the person within that clothing. So get it done, get it tailored, 
Yes, it's going to cost a bit of money, but this is an investment piece. You're going to have it forever, so it's not a bad thing to invest in. Now, the other thing I would say, my second tip for you, is that I noticed the pieces you've inherited are a matching jacket and waistcoat. This is not uncommon. It might not ever have been part of a suit. It doesn't matter. However, what I would suggest to you is what you have there are two separate garments and they can be treated as such. You can either wear them both together, should you wish to do so, or I would consider thinking that of them as two separate items. Because as a younger gentleman, and I believe um, when I look back at your letter, you say you're uh, in your early stages of your career in the RAF. So I'm going to make the assumption you're a man in your earlier 20s, all right? The waistcoat, perhaps at this stage in life, could be much more wearable for you. Because, you know, that waistcoat worn maybe over uh, a nice crisp white shirt, or maybe even a polo shirt. It's a lot less formal when worn on its own, and it is not uncommon to see young chaps these days wearing a tweed waistcoat with a pair of jeans, uh, you know, in a very casual setting. So it, it gives you a lot of flexibility, that waistcoat. And as I say, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with chinos. It's going to be something you could wear out maybe in place of a sweater, or, you know, just you maybe just want to jazz up your look. There's nothing like a little bit of tweed to put a bit of sparkle onto what could be a very mundane outfit of clothing. Now, thinking of the waistcoat as separate, you can think of the jacket as separate too. Now, that's a garment that you can wear uh, to really up the formality of a situation. You know, you could wear it with chinos, you could wear it, you know, with nice trousers, but certainly, you know, it's something you can put into a semi-formal situation. Now, as a younger chap, you may not find yourself in circumstances where you dress that formally. However, it's good to have it in the wardrobe, ready to go when you need it. And of course, you can marry them together. You can wear the waistcoat and the jacket at the cooler time of year. I'm wearing a tweed jacket, but with an, a non-matching waistcoat right now, because it's a little chilly. It's nice to have the option of a little bit of layering. So you have several options with the items which you've inherited. The waistcoat, the jacket, and the waistcoat and the jacket. You've got three separate routes you can take in that little collection of clothing. Now, my third tip for you in the wearing of those lovely tweed garments is think about the layering options which are open to you and also the trousers that you're going to wear with those garments too. Now, layering, well, it's all about what you wear under the jacket and the waistcoat. Now, for me, the perfect companion for the old tweed is exactly what I'm wearing now, a crisp white shirt. It is the blank canvas which allows the tweed to be the main star of the show. Because tweed, by definition, tends to have a lot of texture, a lot of pattern, quite often a lot of colour. And it's something which you don't want to be competing with maybe, you know, a, a, a Bengal striped shirt or a, a deeply coloured shirt. You want something rather simple. For me, I tend to go for, you know, white. However, maybe a light blue, maybe a pink is also a great option. Now, I noticed the tweed jacket, which you sent the image of, has the slightest hint of uh, blue um, lateral stripes going through it. So, that little carryover of blue might be a light blue shirt, could be the perfect friend, companion for that garment indeed. So, it's what you layer it with will often bring the tweed to life. In the cooler months, you know, if you don't want to wear the waistcoat, maybe a, a light but beautiful quality cashmere sweater worn under it gives you that extra layering option which will keep the cold weather at bay. Now, when it comes to the trousers, these will have the most dramatic impact on the way which you wear your clothing. It'll decide whether the situation you go into is formal, semi-formal or utterly casual. Let me explain. If you pair your tweed jacket and waistcoat with grey flannel slacks, the classic, you know, sort of catch-all trousers for a gentleman, they're quite formal in a way in the modern world. And because they're quite textured as well, the flanneling, it goes quite nicely with tweed, I've always thought. That will put you into your probably most formal scenario with your tweed jacket. So if you're going to maybe a drinks mixer in work or something of that nature, where you may typically wear a blazer, you could substitute the blazer 
for the tweed jacket, particularly if it's in a more rural environment, because of course the rural world and tweed goes very much hand in hand, but not necessarily, the city equally also. But grey flannel slacks, the most formal. Now we're heading into a semi-formal scenario, so perhaps you might want to think of chino trousers because you get a lot of color options with chino. If you want to go for the standard khaki, it's going to be a perfect marriage with that quite green oriented tweed that you have in the collection that you've inherited. However, you can go for other colors as well. You know, you can go for navy, you can go for quite garish colors, should you feel brave enough to do so. It is an option. And finally, if you want to go fully informal, casual, denim jeans. Right? It's not a route I would personally take, but as a younger gentleman, blue denim jeans is definitely something you could think about with your tweed jacket as well. Brings the formality right down, of course, but in your life, that might be the perfect marriage. Now, the only other thing I would say, there's another pair of trousers, which I don't talk about often because I don't really own any myself. Corduroy. These are thick material. They're also very textured. They're very colored and they may be the perfect friend for your tweed jacket, particularly in the colder time of year where you're getting a lot of insulating uh, materials against your body there. So think about corduroy as well, in the same way as you may think about uh, maybe chino. So have a go with that, but layering and trousers will make all the difference to the way in which you wear your tweed clothing. Now my next tip for you with the tweed is think about the way you coordinate the colors because tweed often involves quite earthy tones. Uh, you know, quite, it often brings up in the mind, as I've said, country pursuits. It's quite rural in its nature because the colors are very natural in the palette from which they spring. Not always, mind. Uh, you can have some garish colored tweed as well. It can be dyed any color, but it tends to be the earthy tones. And that's the reason why it is so beloved within the menswear world. Now, the other thing about tweed, it also brings, as well as color, pattern and texture, which you can't say about every material, because with tweed, it can come in a plethora of different patterns, and also the texture is a lot more three-dimensional than many more sleek materials, like wool, for instance, which is rather plain, really, but tweed, as it, of course, originates from a little more rougher wool, it certainly has a less finished appearance to it. And when you run your hand over it, you get that texture under the fingers. So certainly it's got a lot going on. So you wanna make sure you're not wearing things which are going to be visually competing against the patterns and the fabrics and the material of the tweed. So keep it simple. And as I've said, shirts, keep them all one color, white, blue, pink or whatever, but I wouldn't be going for very stripy shirts, very deep rich colors, because it can be a difficult marriage to get. Stick to greys, khakis, navies, whatever complementary accessories that you bring in with the clothing, your tweed, keep it simple. Let the tweed be the star. It will do all the work for you. I generally opt for as simple as possible with my tweed. I just include complementary colors, like I've got a sort of russety colored uh, waistcoat with this tweed jacket. They naturally marry together because they are natural colors. They are colors we see in nature. Think about nature, think about that beautiful green tweed that you have and what would go with it. What goes with it? Well, now it's autumn here in the UK. So I see the green of the leaves on the ground or the browns and the various different colors of browns. You know, they all match very naturally with the reds of the environment and the greens of the environment as the colors, the palette changes as autumn slips into winter. And you can do the same in the way that you dress your clothing. Now, finally, what I would end with is don't forget the details with your tweed garment, all right? Think of it in the same way as you would think of dressing your best suit. Those little accessories make all the difference. Just because it's a little, more, a little bit more rugged, a little bit more country oriented, doesn't mean to say you don't treat it with the same eye for detail. Pocket square. If there's a breast pocket on a garment, that means it has to have a pocket square within it. Pick the colors, again, which go naturally with your ensemble. Um, a tie. Right? If you're going to wear a tie, 
The tweed is the perfect friend to a woven or knitted tie because that extra bit of texture you get from that sort of tie just goes incredibly well with the texture which your tweed is also bringing to the party. And don't forget all the little things. Your shoes, for instance. Now, because tweed, again, quite country in most people's mind, rural, something like a nice brown brogue is going to be perfect. It's going to be the icing on the cake for your sort of country gentleman look. And it works not just in the country, of course. If you're in the middle of an inner city, you're still hitting the same vibe. It's just you've thought about the details and the accessories which match perfectly with that outfit. Now what I'd like to finish up by saying is that whilst you have come by these lovely tweed garments by way of tragic circumstances, you can go forward in life and wear them with a sense of confidence and feel elevated and enhanced by wearing lovely clothing at the same time as always being reminded of your dear late brother who used to wear them and now of course you have the opportunity to wear them into a new period of your history and your family's history whilst always having those memories associated with those clothes. So many people do the same in their lives where they will wear you know the clothing of their parents when they've passed it's something of a, a passing through the generations of the clothing and the style in which we wear so i wish you all very well in your future journey with that tweed i'm sure it's going to look great on you and all the very best and thanks for writing now if you would like to uh, send me something you know by way of something that's happened in your life or a question or some advice feel free to drop me an email or maybe just drop it into the comments section. Tell me about inherited garments which you make or wear which have played a big part in your life. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee or even join my small growing army of patrons. Uh, I think for about three pounds a month, you can join my patron team and I make an extra video every week just for my patrons, all about the behind the scenes life that I lead as the chap in the chap's guide. So until the next time, take care, wear your tw tweed into this world with rugged country style, and I will see you again very soon.